past ten with the late news. But uh, now it's time to join our news teams where you are. Bye for now. Hello there, good evening. The Scottish Conservative Chairman says the Chancellor's £15 million financial package is not a one-off deal if the cost of living situation continues to worsen. Opposition parties have criticised it, but there are questions here about an estimated £3.5 billion black hole in Scotland's finances ahead of a spending review. Here's our political correspondent, Andrew Kerr. The Chancellor of the Exchequer. With high energy bills and soaring inflation, Labour say the Chancellor was dragged kicking and screaming to take action. But to Billions was pledged to help, leaving Labour the denying the Conservatives had gone further than they'd planned. And actually, for the most hard-pressed families, Labour plans would have supported them more. For example, for uh, a couple who have two children who are in the seat of universal credit, Labour would have supported them more. The Scottish Conservative chairman, who backs Boris Johnson remaining in office, said the proposed oil and gas windfall tax was temporary and wouldn't deter North Sea investment. He added the Chancellor was willing to come back with more. It's not a one-off if, if the conditions uh, I, I continue. I mean, it's quite clear that with inflation running at 9%, we have an unprecedented situation facing uh, many households. The SNP criticised the Conservatives, saying the windfall tax could have fallen on a broader range of sectors and that benefits should have been uprated. The Finance Secretary has a spending review on Tuesday. There's said to be a black hole of more than £3 billion. The party admits it's challenging given what they see as the constitutional constraints. It is the case that actually, given that so much of our budget relies on what happens at Westminster and given how uncertain that is, given the fact that our budget is decreasing in real terms this year because of Westminster's decisions. Experts have warned that taxes may have to go up, spending may have to be cut, or Westminster will have to deliver more money. This all comes at a time when the Scottish Government is bracing itself for public sector pay negotiations in the face of rising inflation. Andrew Kerr, reporting Scotland. A group of Ukrainian refugees say they felt they were being threatened with forcible relocation because their hotel room was needed for new arrivals. The Scottish Government says some families in West Lothian were asked if they wanted to move to Aberdeen, but no one was forced to do so. Here's Morag Kinnebra. A warm welcome to West Lothian for Ukrainian refugees who've been staying in a Livingston hotel for weeks waiting for homes. Some say they were told to pack their bags and move to Aberdeen with a few hours' notice. We are grateful for uh, Scottish people and Scottish government, and we have there a lot of friends. That's why we don't, don't want, if it's possible, to go to some another region in Scotland, and we want to stay here. Maybe it, if it's possible, it will be good for us to adapt, because we started adapt and we, we don't want to adapt in new, in new place. The Scottish Government says it's working to ensure new arrivals have access to temporary hotel accommodation, trauma support and translation. It says it's helping identify longer term accommodation options across Scotland, whether from local hosts, council properties or housing associations. It's issued a statement saying, A small group of people from Ukraine volunteered to change hotels so those arriving late at night at Edinburgh Airport could access accommodation close by. Everyone understood this was a voluntary arrangement and rooms were available should they decide to stay. There's support here for the families who chose to stay on and other new arrivals from Ukraine. But some locals are worried a mix-up could happen again. They didn't have a translator with them. A lot of people don't speak any English, so it, it, was, it was a very confusing and worrying situation for them. Um, so it could have been done a lot differently, a lot better. Edinburgh Council, which arranged the accommodation along with the Scottish Government, says there are no plans to reapproach long-standing residents here to ask if they'd be willing to move to other temporary accommodation again. Maura Kinnebra, reporting Scotland, Livingston. An 18-year-old pedestrian is critically ill in hospital after he was hit by a van on the A90 outside Aberdeen in the early hours of this morning. The accident happened on the southbound carriageway near Kingswell's roundabout. Police say the vehicle involved was a white Mercedes Sprinter van. 
Scott Rail says around 320 services will be cancelled across the country today. The rail operator is currently dealing with a driver shortage linked to a route about pay, with drivers refusing to work rest days and overtime. Drivers are considering a fresh pay offer. And there's been a boost for the Scotland squad ahead of Wednesday's World Cup playoff semi-final against Ukraine. Everton's Nathan Patterson is set to make a surprise comeback after injury. Meanwhile, Scotland coach Stephen Naismith said there's a new belief in the team. Awards of the Euro camp where not only for everybody watching but for the squad were brilliant. Um, then the players have went back to their clubs and progressed. And now, like you say, we're very close to that point that you could be making some more history, so there is a real focus there, but I think that's been a long-term focus. And how is the weather looking for at the start of the week? Well, here's Joy to tell us. Hi, Joy. Hello, good evening. Well, today saw contrasting conditions once more. For some, blue skies and good spells of sunshine, but elsewhere, lingering cloud and quite heavy showers for much of the day. Now, tonight and overnight, indeed, it is going to remain cloudy with some clear spells breaking through at times. It will be dry for a time before these lines of showers sweep southwards across the country. It could be quite heavy at times. A mild night ahead, initially blustery, although the strongest winds in the Northern Isles, Western Isles and the North West Highlands will begin to ease by morning. So that does bring quite a mild start, but a cloudy one with a rash of showers in the central belt and then from the north we'll see further showers coming in. These could be a heavy banding together to give more persistent spells of rain too. And if we take a look at the UK as a whole, very similar picture, a showery day to come with some limited sunshine, particularly in the south we're seeing the highest temperatures, 15 to 17 Celsius there, compared to 11 to 13 at best for us in Scotland. And it is going to remain unsettled and showery overnight a cloudy night to come with light winds and as we look towards Tuesday well low pressure is pinned firmly ahead so that does give another unsettled day plenty of clouds sticking around and also frequent showers these could be thundery in nature at times once again combining to produce more persistent spells of rain there will be limited brightness and winds will be light temperatures creeping up a notch highs of 13 or 14 celsius but looking towards Wednesday a drier day more in the way of sunshine to be found across the east we will see those some heavy showers but temperatures on the rise highs of 17 celsius that's your forecast joy thank you very much for that thank you and that's all for now we are back with the late bulletin which is just after the 10 o'clock news i do hope you can join us then but until then enjoy the rest of your sunday evening Bye bye